वेलकम बैक टू टेस्ट प्रेप कार्ड सो माई डियर फ्यूचर इंजीनियर्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल एंड प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर ऑल योर अपकमिंग एग्जाम्स आई नो यू हैव टू फेस अ लॉट ऑफ हार्ड एग्जामिनेशन नाउ बट आई ऑल्सो नो दैट यू ऑल आर कैपेबल इनफ ऑफ गेटिंग द बेस्ट कॉलेज फॉर योर सेल्स सो आफ्टर चूजिंग द बेस्ट कॉलेज फॉर योर सेल्फ एंड आफ्टर गिविंग ऑल दीज हार्ड एग्जाम्स यू हैव टू मेक अनादर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी डिफिकल्ट डिसीजन एंड दैट इज ऑफ चूजिंग द बेस्ट ब्रांच फॉर योर सेल्स सी यू नो दैट इंजीनियरिंग इज अ वेरी वाइड फील्ड देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ ऑप्शन एंड अ लॉट ऑफ ब्रांचेज सो ऑफन स्टूडेंट्स गेट कन्फ्यूज दैट विच ब्रांच दे शुड गो फॉर इन दैट मैटर योर इंटरेस्ट एंड योर प्रेफरेंस मैटर्स अ लॉट बिकॉज यू कैन गिव योर हंड्रेड परसेंट ओनली इन दैट ब्रांच इन विच यू हैव योर whole interest and you will be able to work with your full dedication so in choosing the best branch for yourselves we are also trying to help you as you know that we are just compiling the videos on different branches of engineering and we have even discussed in detail the best colleges for that particular branch the placement the average salaries and the top recruiting companies so in this video we will today discuss about electronics and communication engineering so before moving towards our main topic it is very important to get a gist about electronics and communication engineering okay so just uh, pay attention over here like electronics and communication engineering is something that focuses on the electronics of the communication domain like it is uh, somewhere between the core and the software theek okay? hai uh if i explain it in a more detailed manner then we will just describe it as the intermediate between the electrical engineering and the computer science engineering okay uh like uh, it is considered as an all rounder branch why because in this particular branch you have to learn about electrical part as well as programming part and also communication part so to be more elaborate in this particular branch you will study 30 to 50% of electrical engineering and then 30% of computers and little bit of electronics and communication so this is an all round up branch because it is compiling the majors of engineering so because of this reason only this branch has a, a lot of scope and you are offered with a lot of options in this particular branch so if we move towards the scope in this particular branch then uh, we have options like uh, you can give your ies exam that is indian engineering services or you can even work in the core sector or you can even go for the coding field because you are learning computers also in this particular branch or you can go for the non tech field and both the private and government sectors are open for you after doing electronics and communication engineering now if we talk about the top recruiting companies of this particular branch then we have many big names like siemens bell hpcl taxis instruments intel reliance DRDO Philips Electronics Samsung ISRO that is ISRO Hewells India Limited Wipro now coming on the job profiles that these top recruiting companies offer to an electronics and communication engineer so these job profiles are electronics engineer field test engineer network planning engineer customer support engineer electronics technician associate first line technician service engineer senior sales manager technical director 
electronics and communication consultant and research and development software engineer so these are some of the job profiles that an electronics and communication engineer is offered so that's it for electronics and communication engineering now let's move towards our main topic and let's discuss about the top iits for electronics and communication engineering so guys firstly we'll talk about iit bhubaneswar which is in odisha and the nirf ranking of this iit is 28 Talking about the seats available in this IIT for electronics and communication engineering branch so here we have 52 seats available now coming on the fees so you have to pay around 8.77 lakh for the whole course now i just discuss the cutoffs okay so in this video i just tell you about the 2021 closing and opening rank of round 6 so this is just to give you an estimate or to give you an idea that how much the cutoffs might go for the next year and here i will just talk about the general category other than that you can check the cutoffs of round 1 round 2 and all the other rounds online to get more detailed information okay so talking about the cutoffs of round 6 for general category for gender neutral the opening rank was 3006 and the closing rank was 4174 and for females the opening rank was 7 307 and the closing rank was 8253 okay so that's it for iit bhubaneswar the next iit in the row we have iit dhanbad which is in jharkhand so guys the nirf ranking of this iit is 11 and the seats available for the electronics and communication engineering branch are 124 the fees for the whole course in this particular iit is around 8.79 lakhs now coming on the cutoffs so the 2021 round 6 general category opening rank for gender neutral was 3224 and the closing was 5047 for females it was 7298 the opening rank and the closing was 11313 okay i guess that's clear to you let's move forward okay guys now the next iit is iit guwahati which is in assam with an irf ranking 7 the seats available in electronics and communication engineering are 100 for coming on the fees so the total fees over here is around 8.56 lakhs now talking about the cutoffs so for gender neutral the opening rank was 1189 and the closing rank was 1891 for females the opening rank was 3528 and the closing rank was 4693 okay i guess that's clear to you now let's move towards our next iit now we have iit rurki which is in uttarakhand with an irf ranking 6 seats available in ece branch are 109 and the total course fee over here is around 8.58 lakhs coming on the cutoffs so please i am reminding you again that the cutoffs are just for round 6 2021 and general category so for gender neutral the opening rank was 734 and the closing rank was 1 421 for my girls the female ranking was opening rank was 1301 and the closing rank was 3389 now we have iit kharagpur which is in west bengal with an irf ranking 5 
Okay, so talking about the seats, here we have 90 seats available for ECE branch and the total fees is around 8.32 lakhs. Coming on the cutoffs, the gender neutral cutoff was opening rank 482 and the closing rank was 1132. For girls, the opening rank was 1640 and the closing rank was 2780. Okay, uh, that's it for the best IITs for ECE branch. That's it for this video. And for my foreign students, I would like to be, uh, remind you that in IITs, there is no seat reservation for foreign students. You have to sit for JE advanced paper with other Indian students only. And that's the only option for getting seats in IITs. But still, if you need more information and more details about the foreign admissions in the engineering colleges of India, you can download our ebook on DASA and CIWG scheme. The link for this ebook is given below in the description box. So I guess this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, then please like it and share it with your other friends. And if you're new to this channel, then quickly go and subscribe it and click on the bell icon to stay updated and stay connected with the test prep card team. And yes, guys, if you have any doubts or any queries, you can ask them in the comment section or you can even contact the test prep card team, the link for which is given in the description box. And in the comment section, do let me know that which branch you want to opt or which college you want for yourselves. Okay. And till then, all the best for your exams. Stay connected.